So this video is on identifying oxidation and reduction occurring in a reaction as well as the reducing agent and oxidizing agent. Um, it's really, really important to remember Leo the lion says grr. That is going to be critical to this lesson today. Um, so remember losing electrons is oxidation and gaining electrons is reduction. So new today should be this reducing agent and oxidizing agent which is kind of confusing because it's just the opposite. So the reducing agent is the element that performs oxidation. And then the oxidizing agent is the opposite as well. It's the element that performs reduction. So the easiest way for me to remember is that Leo the lion says grr, and then I just know the agents, they're like double agents, so they're opposite, okay? So oxidation is paired with the reducing agent, and reduction is paired with the oxidizing agent, okay? Um, so for these problems today, what you're going to have to do is label the oxidation numbers, um, and then label which one is being oxidized or reduced, and you do that by looking for changes um, I'm not going to explain the oxidation numbers in this. Um, if you don't know how to do oxidation numbers, go watch the other video because that will not be explained here. Okay. So first thing, label these oxidation numbers. I get 2 plus, 0, 0, 2 plus. And then we're going to draw these brackets showing changes on the product side and the reactant side. So zinc goes from 2 plus to 0. So this is the kind of tricky part we have to think about. Like what's actually happening here? When you go from 2 plus to 0, is it more negative or is it more positive? Um, the easiest way to think about this, think about it like a number line. Okay, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So we're starting over here at positive 2. And then we're going to go down to 0. So that is something that became more negative. And if something is becoming more negative, that means it's gaining electrons because electrons are negative. So it's becoming more negative. It's gaining electrons. So we get gaining electrons is reduction. Grr. Okay, and for the agent, the zinc 2 plus is the oxidizing agent because oxidation agent goes with reduction. Okay, they're opposites. Now for the other part, um, for this, if one part's reduction, you should just know the other part's going to be oxidation. Um, I still want to talk about where the numbers are coming from. So this one is going from 0 to 2 plus, which is more positive which means it's losing electrons. Okay, it's losing negatives. That's why it becomes more and more positive. So Leo, right? Losing electrons is oxidation. So that means that lead here is the reducing agent because a reducing agent goes with oxidation. They are opposites. Um, I'm going to skip okay. that second Let's one. Just one. The Let's one. label these um, So we're going to label numbers. all the oxidation numbers here. 1 plus, 5 plus, 2 minus, 1 okay, plus, then we're gonna 3 minus, and changes. 0. Um, vanadium goes from 3 plus to 0, and nickel goes from 0 to 2 plus. So chlorine is going from 5 plus to 1 so minus. So if it's going 0, that it's getting more plus. and more negative. That is more right? That's positive, a gain of Which means electrons. it's losing the negativity, right? Becoming more positive, losing negativity. And if it's so that is reduction. Loss more negative, of electrons that is reduction. Grr. So that uh, is nickel reduction. is our oxidizing so agent. Chlorine is our oxidizing agent. Which means agent. the other one has to be opposite. So it has to be oxygen, the oxidation portion. 2 minus to 0. We know so that gonna is going to be our reducing be oxidation. Agent. So that's the reducing agent. 
Um, you can tell it's going to be oxidation oh, two, two because minus two if it's going zero, from positive to more, okay, more negative, more positive. Okay, so that's it's a loss gaining of negative. So, that's why it's so that means that this is in. All right, this one a little longer, a little more tricky. Um, I'm just going to put this SO2 on the right side so you can so it's more where it should be. Okay, so let's take a second and label these oxidation numbers. Kind of labeling them backwards here, but same deal. Just label all the oxidation numbers. Um, I'm actually going to go through this one of how you find the CR, just as a reminder. So K off the periodic table, O off the periodic table. Um, so we get 2 for that potassium. Um, and we get negative 14 for the oxygen. So we this CR is two times whatever's in the middle. Um, so that means we're going to get 2x is equal to um, 12. And so that means that um, that CR needs to be 6 plus. So CR changes from 6 plus to 3 minus. So that is becoming more negative, which means it's gaining electrons. So we have GER here, reduction. So that CR is our oxidizing agent. And then we also have this S changing from 0 to 4 plus. So that's becoming more and more positive. So that is a loss of electrons. That is oxidation. So that means S is our reducing agent. All right, last one here. Um, label the oxidation numbers. And that first N is a three, a little hard to see there, but it's one plus three plus two. 2 minus. All right, so the change here is for um, nitrogen. It goes from 3 plus to 2 plus. So it's becoming more negative. So that is a gain in electrons. So that means nitrogen is our oxidizing agent. And then iodine goes from negative 1 to 0, which is more positive. So that is a loss of electrons. And we get Leo, so oxidation, and that is the reducing agent. Um, and just one other quick side note. Um, you can have two things going to the same element that is possible.